Take yourself back to the first time you had the chance to vote. What mattered to you? For me and millions of other young people, the answer is obvious. It's the climate crisis. When I look around my home, I can't help but notice how there's a whole world contained in one room. From the energy of fossil fuels that power my lights, to the materials in my phone sourced from globally unjust supply chains. It is this link between economic and social justice predicated on a sy global system where our oil, gas and coal continues to supply fuel that solidifies the inherently destructive nature of fossil fuels. And frankly, I'm scared. I see uh, the wars and oppression around me from the occupation of land and the increase in climate migrants and the, uh, <laughs> the oppression of marginalized people all around the world. And I can't help but notice how this is inherently linked to the dependence on fossil fuel consumption. Sorry. I'm living in fear of both my present and my future. But it's not just me. A study by Force of Nature showed that 70% of young people felt that the climate crisis negatively contributed to their mental health. And yet, on the back of this, youth movements are still rising. In UK Youth Climate Coalition, we invite you to think about our campaign, public money for public good, to invest, divest, and frame resilience for the present, not just 2050. For every new fossil fuel project, planetary and human health is being impacted. We need divestment from fossil fuels and militarized corporate relations that cause violence on people and planet. Imagine if the UK became a leading country to make fossil fuels history and climate justice work. We are living in our future now and every decision contributes to that. Young people across the UK can imagine a future with social justice and without fossil fuels, but we need intergenerational and intersectional processes to fulfill it. We need you to stand by us. We need you to fight for us in that future that we believe in. Show us that you're taking on what we care for, public money for public good. So now take yourself back to when you first got the chance to vote. What would you choose? A government that fights for a livable future or one that acts as if it's impossible? <laughs>